Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful fall morning, and I am heading to Falcon Field in Mesa, Arizona. Falcon Field is home of the commemorative Air Force that holds vintage World War II airplanes. They actually restore them and fly out of Falcon Field. But today is the Vintage Wings and Wheels Car Show. So stay tuned. We'll go check this out together. It'll be a great day. Wow, what a beautiful place for a car show. See the red rocks out there in the distance. Airplanes taking off. And just a few of the airplanes in this museum. And helicopters. And an unmanned airplane. Okay, let's go take a look at some of these great cars that showed up. Big turnout. Okay, if anybody's got some money in their pocket, here you go. 1966 Nova Gasser. And this is October 2023, so if you wanna buy it, there's a phone number. But if you're watching this later than October, or 2023, it's probably sold. Fuel injected velocity stacks. We have uh, four Panteras here. 1972. Beautiful interior. I don't know. This is an uh, amazing car. I remember in the 70s, this is what everybody wanted. All my buddies. Mid engine, transaxle. Another 72. We are sitting right there. That's where the engine is. Yellow one with the wing. This one's got a Ferrari emblem. I guess not really a Ferrari. It's got a cat. <laughs> a little spoof. And the engine right there. These look like they're daily drivers. And here's a beautiful 1960 Corvette. Did a nice job on that. I like those wheels. Beautiful 1938 Chevrolet pickup truck, call it the Thrift Master. 
They don't have the hood open. But by the big tires in the rear, I would say that they have a big engine in it. The interior is nice. And those gauges. This is a very nice Firebird 1969. Airplanes for the Confederate are not commemorative Air Force. But they're giving rides in that airplane all day today. 400, a couple unique styling cues that they did back in the day was this Firebird emblem. and the tachometer in the hood. Two chargers and a GTX Mopars. Charger RT, road and track. Magnum 440. This is a 68. Speed. And here's another beautiful RT charger. Not a super B. They have put a little extra on the engine here. Heavy breather. Like the RT with the hidden headlights. That's a Hemi. With green, green interior. Here's a Plum Crazy GTX 440 six pack. Six barrel cowl induction that's working. You can see the vacuum element there to open and close it. Beautiful car, but not only is it a 446 pack, but it has the pistol grip shifter, still the eight track tape deck in it. Beautiful car. Plymouth GTX, great bind. Look how straight those panels are. Very nice job with this 1966 Corvair. Four speed. And yes, it does have air conditioning. Here's that flat six cylinder. AC compressor added in. Extra cooling fans there with the AC condenser. Nice job on that Corvair. Original matching numbers, SS454, big block, cowl induction, Chevelle. With air conditioning.
So this Oldsmobile wagon, 1970, caught my eye. It has a 455 motor in it, 442 emblems, and the 440 W30, and the 442 was originally a four barrel carburetor, um, four speed transmission, manual transmission, and dual exhaust. And that's how they originally came up with the 442. That quickly changed because then there was a tri power, three uh, carburetors, three two barrel carburetors. And I guess they didn't want to change the name to a 462, but that might have been fun. But anyway, the owner of this car took an Oldsmobile wagon, a 72 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser, which was some of the best wagons built with the big uh, glass top on the back and the uh, three rows of seating and made this look like a 442 W30 putting the uh, all the 442 parts in this wagon except this is an automatic it's not the uh, four speed but the color combination and everything very unique wagon with air conditioning It's a car you don't see that many of, but it's a 1951 Allard. There's the history on the car. One of 117 K2 built with only 75 remaining today. Uh, this was built the K2 from 1950 to 1952. Came with a Ford V8, a lot like the Cobras. British car. It's a beautiful car. Three two bell carburetors. Offenhauser valve covers there. I saw this one pulling in. He, he does drive it. What's interesting about this Roadster is that it's a 1930, but it has this Buick nail head in it, dual carbs. Um, you can see how the valve covers are just sitting straight up and down with the side covers. It's a very unique engine. I'm told they built this from 1953 into the mid 60s but uh, really interesting looking engine. Nice combination here. Ford with the Buick nail head motor. A couple of beautiful 32 Ford Roadsters. Very unique color, chocolate brown. The wheels are kind of a smoked chrome. Very nice. But uh, Offenhauser valve covers with a retro looking fuel injection with velocity stacks. That really looks nice. They have the firewall in white back there. Grill also kind of a gold smoked color with the pinstriping. Very, very nice job on this. Nineteen thirty two license plate. 
also next to another 1932 found the copper license plate but this rear end I don't know if that's the independent Jaguar rear end that they're putting on these quick change gears back there with the pipes coming down the bottom uh, underneath their differential coil over shocks it's like four coil over shocks a lot of suspension on that Dodge Charger convertible only 3,884 were made some modifications to the engine this was always one of the nicest body body styles of the Challenger. Dodge sure had a hit with this body style and then the 72s that came after this. Chevelle 396. This is a 67. Air conditioning, upgraded brakes. Nice wheels, you can see the wheel wood brakes through the wheel. Four speed. Super sport. Beautiful car. 1950 Woody wagon, done very nicely. Engine compartment cleaned, air conditioning. Very nice interior. Three row seats, windows slide back. I love what they've done with the wheels. Yes, sir. It takes a lot of time. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Good. Well, I'm glad I walked back here. That's a beautiful tailgate. Yeah. This might be one of my favorite cars here today. Nineteen seventy AMX. American AMC with a three ninety. This was the American Motor Company's answer to the seventies uh, muscle car. There's another Rambler down here that we're going to take a look at, but no back seat. Lightweight car, not a lot of frills, just all go. Has a cowl induction hood, or the Ram Air, I'm not sure what AMC called their version for the AMX. But it's a nice, nice looking car. Very nice. 1970 GTO Judge. With a true Ram Air. But 
done a nice job. I'll rise for the judge. So the Ram Air would open up, and uh, as you're driving, force air through the hood into the engine. I believe these were 400 cubic inch. All you uh, GTO judge experts, let me know if I'm wrong. This is also a four speed that has the uh, 8 track tape deck in it. Got finished talking to the owner of this car. Very nice man. Um, letting me know that this was the, is the original color called Moonstone Gray. A factory original color with the burgundy maroon wheels with the hubcaps that match the, the wheels. And he says they drive this all over the place. Look at that dashboard, that is absolutely beautiful. The 46 license plate. Even the paint that matches the hubcaps. Looks like it's lowered a little bit. It's got it set up very nicely. What caught my eye on this car, old police car, little four cylinder engine. It is a 1930 Model A. There goes another airplane. But this accessory here is what Crosley started out selling along with the inner tube tire. This little stand here, you can get a stand to hold three flags like that or also a stand that you could put in your radiator cap. And that was Crosley, the mini car makers beginning to all of his business was starting out making something as simple as that. A neat little model, Model A police car. 59 Buick LeSabre. The uh, interesting lines on this car that Buick was doing. I'm not sure this would fit in my garage and it's only a two-door. I think there's another one here. We'll take a look at it. This is a 1950 Crestliner. I was just speaking to the owner told me some really interesting things about this car. This green and black combination is actually the original color for this car back in 1950. 1950, later on, these cars got nicknamed as a shoebox. But one thing that he did was able to find these Arden heads, which came out before the Hemi heads uh, that Chrysler was doing. So there's Arden right there. So those Arden heads uh, bolted on a flathead Ford V8. So Arden, the father of the Corvette, when he worked for Ford, developed these cylinder heads, and then Chrysler adopted them. But this is a beautiful, beautiful car. 
I thought Chrysler had the Hemi heads, but Arden was the first one. Three speed on the column. Beautiful dashboard. And these are always iconic 1950s taillights. Very unique, classic looking hot rod here. Thanks, Gary, for telling me the story about your car. Beautiful 64 Thunderbird convertible. Some of the specs on it. <laughs> Big 490, I'm sorry, 390 engine. how they have the four passenger seating molded into the deck there with the convertible. Nice dashboard. Look at those gauges and that steering wheel that tilts sideways so you can get in and out. Okay, here's a, another AMC muscle car, the Hearse SC Rambler with the 390. Muscle machine of the year. Four speed, obviously, right. with a hearse. Factory hood scoop. Ram air. 390. Beautiful car. 67 numbers matching Corvette 427 with the Stinger hood and it also has the three two barrel carburetors 435 427 big big motor original along with the four speed original color Side pipes, very rare, 427. 1957 MG, MGA, nice looking British sports car. But they've got a little surprise under the hood. Took out the original engine and dropped in a Mazda <laughs> Miata twin cam four cylinder fuel injected. This thing must be really fun to drive. Here is a original 442 Oldsmobile with air. This one is a 1967. like had power brakes, power steering, air conditioning. Let's see. Is it true 442 with a four speed? Nope. Automatic. That's okay. Beautiful car. saw this 
Ford pickup truck come in. With the 427 Gurney Eagle valve, uh, Eagle valve cover. Fuel injected, yeah, I velocity stacks. Yeah. <laughs> With a little window that you can see the engine. Nice steel wheels. Look at this exhaust tip. Hi. Coolers back here. Love that front grill. This is a 62 Corvette. I'm way off. Anyway, the interesting thing about this is they had to put this cover over the ignition system because the ignition made so much um, noise, electronic noise, that you couldn't play the radio. So they have that cover over the ignition system to shield from interference to your radio and the four speed transmission in there. Another iconic dashboard with a removable hardtop and the seats that molded in. And this car over here, 62, this is a, a Bel Air, not the Impala. Another beautiful red, red and white. Interesting steering wheel, I haven't seen that before. But the Bel Air did not have the speaker grill in the center and only two tail lights. And another 55. This might 210. So the 210 had the window posts. Nice looking car. Nice. 1929 Ford. Thunderbird valve covers three two-barrel carburetors with a little patina. Uh, 15 or 16 of us, maybe. Four-speed. And over here, more 32s. I think this is a 32. 32. Very nice green color. This is a beautiful car. Just the steel wheels. With the drum looking brakes in the front. Very, very nice. I would say this is my favorite car here today. That is it from Falcon Field for the Vintage Wings and Wheels in Mesa, Arizona. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I will see you on the next video.